Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Key Win Learning, and this is Stock Fix. And the stock we'll be going over today is actually AMD and Intel. And today we're actually going to be comparing the two stocks and seeing, as of right now, as of July 28th, which is the better stock to buy. And so this article came out this morning, um, talking about just you know which semiconductor stock is a better pick. And they talk about how. Intel right now has reported just earnings about a week ago of 18.5 billion, about 2% up year over year, and surpassed the internal guidance by over 700 million, which is you know really good for the EPS, um, exceeding by 23 cents. So we're talking about a 25% increase from estimated EPS, which I think is extremely good for any company. And Intel's also talking about how they're expected to ramp up in 2024 and by 2025, supposed to debut a new type of development or thing at least within their company and right now they're also talking about how Intel is now announcing the first two customers including Amazon and Qcom and Amazon I think you know is just the starting point Amazon already controls so much of the online market and I think for Intel to be part of Amazon I think it'll be extremely good and the same with Qcom new and upcoming 5G stock um, you know, and as you know, 5G will be starting to go around this year and into next year. And I think it'll be one of the biggest names, Qcom, that is um, within the next five, 10 years that we can see, especially in 5G. And so while Intel definitely has lost a lot of, you know, technical mon money in, you know, losing Apple as one of their customers to actually AMD, I don't think that this is the worst thing. You know, in 2012, they talked about how Microsoft would, basically not be alive because you know they kept getting basically being now in software by apple but in the end both companies started to grow quite well and you know both companies you know just had a good values at certain times in terms of overall consensus price targets on tip ranks you know this morning we got about 14.8 percent upside for intel and there's about nine buys, 11 holes, eight sells. So I'm now going over to AMD. Basically with AMD, amazing revenues, especially in Q2. Jump of 99% year over year, just earnings of 250% of 0.63 um, year over year as well. And, you know, AMD being such a small company as it was about a year ago, two years ago, it's not going to have as much of an increase as it has had in this past year or so. You know, they've been doing extremely well. And this analyst even talks about how um, data center revenues made up of more of 20% of the company's total revenues in quarter two. And on the other hand, Intel's Q2 data revenues were only $6.5 billion, um, only up around 16% quarter over to quarter. AMD also talked about how they believe the data center business will continue to strong deliver into the second half of the year, and I believe that's very true as well. You know, AMD is basically leading, at least in this part of the sector, and They've been doing extremely well. And, you know, right now, price target for AMD on tip ranks, this might be adjusted because earnings just came out later this day. But AMD, I think we can see somewhere at, yeah, 108. So about 11% upside. But at least in terms of my opinion, I'm just going to say it's now, but I think Intel is probably a better pot at this point in time. Um, but just to go off of some, you know, fundamentals as we always do, you know, AMD right now sitting at, you know, roughly an 18 price to book ratio, 41 PDE, you know, which is extremely high. Um, price to sales around 10, you know, um, free cash flow looking decent, you know, at 8.32 and return on equity crazy at 64%. But do we think that this is something that they can consistently keep up is the question. And I think AMD may have a run in the short term, but I think we're looking at a pretty strong pullback here. While on the other hand, we see with Intel, with the free cash flow, in COVID, they definitely took a hit, but you know, they recovered in the first quarter or uh, and second quarter uh, back up to basically normal of what they've been putting at the past five, 10 years or so. And, you know, Intel actually has a dividend as well. On top of just being, you know, a really good semiconductor stock, they also have a dividend, which puts out around 2.5%, 2.6% for the next one. Return on equity looking really solid at 23%. You know, debt to equity at 0.41, so anything under 0.5 is really solid. Price to buck 2.5, good again there. Versus sales is a bit high, which I'm a little bit concerned about, but PDE is looking at 11.8. So given even adjusted numbers, I think Intel has a more fair value rating than what AMD is because AMD, there's a lot more speculation that needs to happen for AMD to really do well. And just going into the short, short term, though, I think AMD has definitely potential here to start melting up. 
um, AMD right now up across higher than four of their major moving averages, sitting at roughly $98 per share, you know, 7.5% increase on today alone. I mean, I think we can maybe expect a pullback to like this 95, but considering that they're all above these, you know, four major moving averages, I think we can see a run maybe to like the hundreds, low hundreds, maybe even 110 if we really can see it within the next maybe month or so. Um, but again, this has to be consistent bullish sentiment that the overall market feels. But the thing is right now, Delta right now is rising a lot, Delta COVID cases. And, you know, I think it will eventually start taking over the market and inflation right now is crazy high. So I do think we will see a pullback and AMD, in my opinion, will get hit harder than Intel in terms of a safety pick. And I think AMD right now has about absolute stop loss or not absolute stop loss, but at least a really large resistance at around 52.5. Um, and I think they have another resistance going down to maybe 48, 47.5. But other than that, I mean, these are basically my price targets. You know, if Intel bounces off the 52.5, I'm not surprised. I am long in Intel as of right now. You know, I'll start averaging down, you know, if Intel, if Delta starts becoming a really big thing um and starts taking a hold of the market and with amd i'm gonna stay away from now but you guys are definitely f free to invest and try to ride the momentum on the upside just remember that there is potential for a decent downside here just because of how much they're not really supported by right now um and i think even down to like 91 dollars a share wouldn't be unreasonable within the next week or so at the same time but yeah uh, that's basically all i have today um if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.